Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on full adder using NOR gates. How we are implementing the full adder using NOR gate. A full adder is a combinational circuit that is used for performing addition of three inputs. Okay. A full adder produces two outputs, one is sum output and another one is carry output. The sum expression of full adder, so S is equal to A exclusive or B exclusive or C. Next, the second output carry output that is C out is equal to C into A exclusive or B plus a b okay how we are getting these two outputs in the full adder by using non gate okay so to implement half to implement full adder using non gate how many number of non gates are required that is total number of non gates required to implement full adder is equal to 12 NOR gates 12 NOR gates how many number of NOR gates are required to get the sum output of the full adder that is equal to 10 NOR gates okay how we are implementing full adder using NOR gate so first we can take two inputs A and B these two inputs are passed to NOR gate then we are getting the output A plus B whole bar okay next the second NOR gate so the input A is applied so input A is applied so what is the output A bar next the third NOR gate what is the input B so the B can be applied as two input for the NOR gate 3 we can get the output B bar next fourth NOR gate the output of the second NOR gate the output of the third NOR gate can be acts as input for the fourth NOR gate so then A bar plus B bar whole bar so that is nothing but A B okay next what are the inputs for fifth NOR gate fifth NOR gate inputs are output of the fourth NOR gate and output of the first NOR gate then we are getting the output as A exclusive or B so this is the half sum output of the half adder that is A exclusive or B next so this output can be send it to the input for the sixth NOR gate so the sixth NOR gate one input is A exclusive or B that is the output of the fifth NOR gate so then the second input is input C so that is C in okay so this input can be applied as input for the sixth NOR gate so then what is the output of the sixth NOR gate so that is C plus A exclusive or B whole dash. Okay. Next, what is the input for the seventh NOR gate? So that is A exclusive or B acts as two input for the seventh NOR gate. Then the output is A exclusive or B whole dash. Okay. Then what is the input for the eighth NOR gate? Eighth NOR gate input is C. So then output is C bar. Then what are the input of the ninth NOR gate? Ninth NOR gate one of the input is seventh NOR gate output A exclusive or B whole dash and output of the eighth NOR gate that is C bar. So then output is C into A exclusive or B. Next, what is the input for the tenth NOR gate? So output of the ninth NOR gate and output of the sixth NOR gate. So then we are getting the sum output as A exclusive or B exclusive or C in. Next, what is the input for 11th NOR gate? So output of the ninth NOR gate that is C into A exclusive or B and input of output of the fourth NOR gate. Fourth NOR gate output is AB 
So AB is one input and C into A exclusive RB is another input for the 11th NAND gate. So then what is the output we are getting that output can be passed to the 12th NAR gate. So then we are getting the final the output that is C out. Okay, C out is C into A exclusive R B plus A B. So that is, so this is A exclusive R B exclusive R C in and this is C into a exclusive RP plus AB. Okay, this is the carry output. This is the carry output. So, this is the description of full adder implementation using NAR gate. Total number of NAR gates is 12 NAR gates are required to implement full adder using NAR gate. To get the only sum output of the full adder using NAR gate, how many number of NAR gates are required? That is 10 NAR gates are required. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So Divella Srinivasa. Divella Srinivasa. Thank you.